اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Let us now run independent sample t-test in SPSS. Now my variable of interest, the dependent variable is vision and I want to assess whether the perception with regards to the communication and understanding of vision differs between male and female where one is male and two is female. So I'm just going to change it. One is male and two is female. Now press OK. Save the file. Now this is version 29. Previously I've been using the earlier versions. So you might experience some changes. Now how to run it? Go to Analyze. Compare means independent samples t-test. Now my dependent variable is vision that is my test variable. My independent variable that is my grouping variable. One and two. Estimate effect sizes. Now you can estimate effect sizes in SPSS, all options seem good. Press OK. Now here are your results. Now for male, the average is 5.08 with respect to their understanding of vision or communication of vision. With female, it is slightly lower. Now Independent sample t-test, the first stage is to assess the Levine's test for equality of variance. Now before we try to understand whether or not the understanding and communication of vision differ between male and female, we need to assess the Levine's test for equality of variance. The reason I want to assess this Levine's test of equality of variance is because I've got two significance values here, two-sided p, two values, one-sided p, two values. Now in this case, I'm going to go with two-sided p because I am not sure whether the understanding or I did not propose that whether male will have a higher understanding or female will have a higher understanding. So my hypothesis is non-directional. So I'm going to side with two-sided p. But the problem is there are two p values. I've got this p-value here and then I've got this p-value here. Now this significance is going to be utilized to assess whether or not there is a difference in understanding and communication of vision between male and female respondents or subjects or employees within the organization. Now which one shall I choose? Shall I choose this one to assess the differences or shall I choose this one? Now this will be based on the significance value here for Levine's test for equality of variance. Now in this case, it is greater than 0 0.05. This means that equal variance is assumed. The two groups have equal variance. What if this was less than 0 0.05? Then we would have said equal variance not assumed. Now in this case, it is greater than 0 0.05. So we are going to select this top value here. So since equal variance assumed, you are going to select this top value to assess the differences between the two groups for your test variable. In this case, this p value is over 0 0.05, but less than 0 0.10. So you can say there is a partially significant difference in understanding and communication of vision between male and female respondents. And as we can see, the Cohen D, the effect size is pretty small, 0.263. Now moving on and 
we are going to look into how to report the results from independent sample t-test. Now here is my sample. The first thing is hypothesis. So my hypothesis is there is a significant difference in understanding and communication of vision between male and female employees. An independent samples t-test was conducted to assess whether the communication and understanding of organizational vision is different between male and female employees. An independent samples t-test showed that male, now what is the mean for male? Let me copy this table here and let's put it here. So the mean for male is 5.08 and the standard deviation is 1.35 and they have reportedly higher levels significantly higher levels of communication now it was not purely significant put it partially significant and higher levels of communication in and understanding of vision so what is your t value let's copy this table as well paste it. Now let's arrange it. Let's change the font size a bit. And it was equal variance assumed because this here the Levine's test of equality of variance was insignificant. So 0 0.082 the p-value is 0 0.082 and what is your t-statistics? The t-statistics was 1.744, 1.744 and the effect size was 0 0.26 and it was obviously higher than the female respondent. So what's the mean for female respondent? 4.73. And what is your standard deviation? 1.43 and hence we can say H1 was partially supported. Now we can format this these results in a table as well. So let's do that. So I do not need this row because my equal variances were assumed. So delete entire row. Once you select it, just press backspace and you will get these options. Press OK. Now let's remove, let's do all borders. This will make, and let's go for layout, orientation, landscape. So if it, the table fits the overall page well, OK. Now a number of statistics are provided. We do not need every single statistic. So we are going to remove quite a few of the statistics in order to make things a bit easier to understand. So I'll create these as separate columns. Now let's select this one. Standard error of difference. I don't need it. Now again there is one-sided and two-sided. For now, I'm just going to report the two-sided one. So use draw table. So I need to remove this one-sided test. So I'm going to create a separate column, this one-sided test done as a separate column. Layout, draw table. Now, this one done. Go to home, centralize. Well, we can remove this equal variance assumed as well. Now, 
Now, if I want to add the mean score for each group, what I can do is I can add a few columns here. Let's put this one here so that these extra cells or this extra row can be removed. First of all, what I'll do is, it sounds a bit tricky here, but once you do it, it's not that difficult. So let me do this one here. And now move these to the bottom here, to these cells. Okay, we do not need this. Now this row here can be removed. Now similarly, let's say the groups, you can have male here, female here, and you can have the mean values and standard deviation for both the groups here. So this is how you can report your results for independent sample t-test in a table. We do not need this. Again, right click, auto fit, auto fit to window. And again, you can do it in APS style. Just remove the borders, bottom border, top border, bottom and then bottom here as well. So this is how you can report your independent samples t-test results. Now previously, uh, effect size was not available in SPSS in earlier versions, so you can use Daniel Super Calculator as well. The link will be shared in the description. So how to use it? Now what you need to do is you need to simply put in the mean for group one, mean for group 2, standard deviation for group 1, standard deviation for group 2 and click calculate and it will give you the effect size. Here is your effect size. Okay, you can remove this table, bring it up here. Yeah. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to run independent samples t-test in SPSS and how to report the results. Thank you very much.